See, you is even going to pull the upset. Do you believe? So all you haters can kick rocks. Who you know I hate the Dallas Cowboys? They suck. This is Philly. I think the Giants are going to miss the playoffs this year. This team is not going anywhere. I wouldn't put no money on it. And she's already accused two men of this. Now a third. And next week, I got some more information for you that's going to blow your mind. They're going to be Cincinnati in week one. Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's always good to be with you. And I'm glad you're here with me. This is the best part of my day. And we're going to talk some football. Dallas Cowboys and Dak Prescott. Hey, please hit the like, subscribe, and share button if you're not a subscriber. We really appreciate you joining us. And please go to the comment sections and let us know what you think, positive or negative. We respond to them all. We just don't do any cursing. So the topic today is Dak Prescott. Since 2016 draft, seven years with the Dallas Cowboys, he has been in what, uh, six playoff games? One, two, and lost four. Is it time to trade Dak Prescott and move on the way the Oakland Raiders, after nine years of Derek Carr, just said, you know, enough is enough. You're not winning. We, It's not happening. Should they trade him and move on? And the Cowboys had plenty of draft capital and the fire is hot right now to be able to make that happen. See, they had their first round draft choice in 24, their first round draft choice in 25. In both years, they had their first, second, third, and fourth picks. They have some six rounders, seven rounders. So now you look around and you say, you know, this league is quarterback hungry, starving. Now, the Cowboys are in a, actually a premium spot here. They have their 2024 and 2025 first-round draft choice their own. In both years, they have their first, second, third, and fourth picks. Uh, one year, they don't have a fifth. Uh, I believe that's 24. But then they have a couple of uh, compensatory picks in the sixth round and the seventh round pick. And in 25, they have all their own picks, one through seven. Package that with the fact that you have something of a marquee name value, Dak Prescott. Just simply, you know, he's going to be able to go to an organization and maybe give it some stability that it never had. Maybe lift it from the basement if it's all the way at the bottom and make it respectable, fill some seats kind of thing. Whatever the case is or whatever the suspecting team that might be looking at him will want him for. And this is the premium opportunity to consider trading him because the quarterback draft this year is so heavy with so much talent that it may be worth rolling the dice now than waiting like the Raiders did for almost a decade with Derek Carr and having no success. Fan base fell apart, had to move cities. I mean, when your quarterback's not producing, getting you in the playoffs and winning games, things happen. So look at it. You got Caleb Williams. You got Drake May. You got Michael Penix Jr. You got Bo Nix. Uh, Shador Sanders, possibly. I mean, there are at least five or six quarterbacks that could go in the first round this year, right in this draft. If you exclude Shador and put him in the 25 category, there's about five or six. Maybe that's about it. This could be an opportunity to reset the Cowboys and go forward. Why? The offensive line needs a lot of work. Bottom line, it just does. The defense is so much further ahead of them. So by keep uh, wearing out the tread on what you have on offense because it's discombobulated. The quarterbacks, you know, getting up there in years. The receivers are new. Some of the linemen are older. Some of the linemen are new. You know, 
you know, it's just not cohesive. When you build a real winning team, just look around. Everyone's on the same wavelength. You bring in two or three seasons of young draft choices. You coach them up. You play them all at the same time, and they raise through the ranks. They go from being lowly to being mediocre. From mediocre to challenging for a division, for a division, challenging for a conference championship in the Super Bowl. Look at Mahomes, that same kind of team. All teams do that. The Seahawks, where you had Russell and Marshawn in them. You don't have old, young, middle row, but that, that team, too many agendas. They're all pulling in different directions. You have the quarterback with a super big contract, and then you have some wide receivers that make anything. They want the big money, so they got different objectives. You got guys blocking for you, making a lot of money. Guys blocking for you, don't make a lot of money. Everybody has their eye in a different direction, either looking for money, looking for wins or whatever, but they're not looking at it the same way at the same time. This, I really believe, would be the optimum move for the Dallas Cowboys. You look out there, uh, all the low-life teams just struggling with quarterbacks. I mean, uh, the kid in Washington is doing okay, but they need a quarterback. The kid in New York, the Giants, he's okay, but they need a quarterback. Uh, let's go down the list. Uh, the Vikings. Who knows if the new kid, the rocket scientist, is actually going to be their quarterback. And Kirk Cousins ripped her in his Achilles at this age. He's done. They need a quarterback. The Bears, they probably need a quarterback. Uh, who else? Uh, let's go down further. The Carolina Panthers, that doesn't look like it's working out. They may be looking for a quarterback in a couple of years. The Saints definitely with Carr. That's just that was a short term stopgap kind of thing. They need a quarterback. Baker Mayfield is he really the answer in Tampa Bay? They need a quarterback. Atlanta they need a quarterback. Who says that kid is their answer? We switch over to the AFC. So many of those teams have great quarterbacks, but some just you know the the. It's out on them. Do they have one or not? Kenny Pickett in Pittsburgh. Is he it or is he not? Is Deshaun Watson ever going to be healed, be healthy, and actually play? Would they be looking to move on from him and get another quarterback? I mean, just go up at the Raiders. They need a quarterback. From Dallas to the Raiders, sounds like a good fit. Mark Davis is willing to spend money. Mark Davis is always looking for star potential power. He needs to fill seats in that stadium. I mean, it's everywhere. This is really the Cowboys' time to move, and I would move. Seriously. You tell me what you think. That's just how I feel about it. We're going to get in the comment section and talk.